In this video, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 cities in the US that have had the largest housing price drops. Then we're gonna compare them to the city of Boston. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm one of the top agents here in the state of Massachusetts. If you have any questions about the market, then throw them in the comments section below. Quick note, this data comes from Zillow and it's calculated off of the peak median sales price in 2022 versus the median sale price for December. Now, how how accurate is this, you ask? Well, it's all about how you want to read the data. Take a look at this chart of the average sales price in Massachusetts, and you're going to see that they hit the peak pricing in June and then hit their low point pricing in October, then was up slightly in November and December. That means from peak to trough, home prices went down by 10%. Oops, did I mention that this was for 2021 when no one was talking about home price crashes? Here's the graph that shows the 2022 versus the 2021 averages. This is what we might call a trend. So here are the top 10 cities with the largest price drops and then how it compares to the city of Boston. Take the data with a grain of salt. We're going to be going from bad to worse. Now, number 10 is Evansville, Indiana. Homeowners in Evansville have seen prices drop by 10.2%. The median price was $181,000 in June and would fall to about $163,000 in December. Number nine is Minneapolis, Minnesota with a 10.3 housing price drop. The median sales price in June was $327,000 would fall to $290,000. 3,000 in December of 2022. Number eight is Salt Lake City, Utah, with 11.1% drop in housing prices. The median sales price was $615,000 in June and wouldn't peak out until August when they hit $634,000. And then in December, it hit a median sales price of $547,000. Real quick, I have to say that all of this makes sense. Well, all folks, they come out to Salt Lake City, buy expensive ski houses, and want them closed by August so that way they can get ready and enjoy the upcoming ski season. I'm just pointing this out again to say, hey folks, grain of salt. Number seven is Kansas City, Missouri, with housing prices falling by 11.4%. In June, the median home price was about $229,000, and Kansas City wouldn't actually hit their peak until July when they hit $231,000. They then hit the low point in December with a median sales price of $203,000. And number six is Puria, Arizona, which saw home prices fall by 11.6%. In June, their median sales price was $563,000. In July, they'd see a final month of of appreciation, topping out at $566,000. Prices would then drop until December when they hit a median sales price of $497,000. And by the way, if you're liking this video, then would you do me a huge favor and hit that like button? It just helps me out with these YouTube gods. Now, number five on the list is Spokane, Washington. They saw home prices fall by 11.7% from June to December. In June, the median sales price was $430,000 with December's median sales price of about $380,000. Now, number four is Reno, Nevada with housing prices down by 12%. The median sales price in June was $627,000 with prices falling in December to $552,000. And number three on the list was Dallas, Texas. And I personally was really surprised by this one. Dallas saw the median sales price fall by 12.1%. In June, their median sales price was $446,000. And they then see one more month of appreciation to $453,000 in July. But then from July to December, the median sales price would reach $392,000. Now the number two city with the biggest home price correction was Yonkers, New York, with a 15.9% drop in prices. The median sales price in June was $605,000 compared to the median sales price in December of $509,000. And this leads us to the number one housing market that has had the biggest, dare I say it, crash in prices. That would be Syracuse, New York, that has seen home prices fall by 20.1%. The median sales price in June was $146,600, and they would sneak out a little bit more appreciation than that median sales price of $148,000 in August. In December, home prices would fall to a median sales price of 117 grand. So where does Boston compare to these other cities? It's a great question. The median sales price was $795,000 in June, with it peaking out in July at $796,000. In December, the median sales price was $807,000, call $808,000, for a pricing increase of 1.6%. That's Zillow's data. I used RMLS data and found a little bit of a different story, however. In January of 2022, the median sales price in Boston was $680,000. Remember that number because I believe it's important. The peak for pricing in Boston would actually be in April when the median sales price hit $775,000. Then we had some ups and downs. But starting in August, we really started to see a strong downward trend. In August, the median sales price would hit $730,000. And then we'd end the year in December with the median sales price of $680,000. Talk about a roller coaster of a year. But I went back to see what it looks like in other years. Started with 2021, then 2020. But COVID wrecked havoc on 
in Boston to 2020, people were just fleeing the cities to the suburbs is everything was just shut down. It was like that until the first quarter or so of 2021. But 2021 really was all about cleaning up that COVID mess. So 2019 was our last normal year. Comparing the 2019 trend to 2022, it seems like the increase happens in the spring and then would level out in the summer and fall with some ups and downs. But the trend line is level. Compared to 2022, there is no doubt that the trend line was going down. So Zillow has us being up by 1.6% from peak of June data to trough in December. It really is bullcrap though. It's an awful timeline comparison. From our MLS data, the median sales price was $700,000 in 2021 versus the median sales price 2022 of $735,000. That would mean prices are up by 5%, which is also a load of you know what, because it's taking the median of the entire year. Not a true glimpse of today's market because that was a rough fall. Remember that $680,000 number and how we started the year with that being the median price and then ended the year with that being the median price? I really think that that 0% appreciation or depreciation is a much better representation of the market and how it really ended in 2022. Data, you can skin it any way you want. I hope you found some value in this video. And if you did, then I appreciate you considering subscribing. Whether you're looking to move in the next nine or 90 days, be sure to give me a call or shoot me an email. All of my contact information is in the description below. I'd love to meet you and get to know a little bit better about what you're looking for and talk to you about your real estate goals. I can personally help you if you're looking to move here in greater Boston, but can also help you find a capable agent that actually knows what they're talking about all over the country. Let me know if you have any questions and if this at all interested you, then you might want to take a look at our video on our 2023 real estate market predictions. I'm Jeff Chubb. Until next time.